All right, guys. Welcome to the London penthouse. <laughs> if you can't already see, we're, or if you don't, haven't already noticed, we're in a bit of a different background and setup today. We're actually in London and in typical UK fashion and style, stereotypical UK. Uh, we've got a rain, rainy, cloudy, uh, kind of somewhat sunny day. Uh, so <laughs> hopefully you enjoy the background and setup for today. If you're lacking context uh, and you haven't seen on my Instagram, I'm actually traveling and passing through London for the next nine days on a business trip. And uh, on the way here, I flew first class for the second time and I'm on the way to a uh, seven day in-person mastermind in Marbella, Spain, which I'm really looking forward to. And I'm gonna bring you guys along with me along the journey. I'm gonna be documented as much as possible, even though I suck at that type of content. Um, I'll be putting a bunch of different uh, clips together. I'll give you a tour of this penthouse. I'll show you guys a bit of first class and Marbella and these things like that. Again, reminder, not to boast or brag or gloat. It's very much in the way and intention of inspiration, motivation, because I know for the small couple hundred people that watch my channel, <laughs> my small little, small little audience I have of less than 2,000 subscribers, uh, a lot of people realize that I am a real person and I am not some special guy that has always had things figured out. Uh, I'm very much like everyone else. Uh, I've never done univer never gone to university or college uh, or any done anything out of uh, tertiary education and I was in retail five years ago, which is, is a pretty crazy thing to say. But all that stuff aside, let's talk about what you came to today's video for, which is the title will be something along the lines of it's time to lock in or you need to lock in. And the reason I wanted to talk about this topic is because I've seen it all too often amongst beginners and people who want to make money online is that they do not realize the level of commitment, dedication, focus and sacrifice that is required to get it is get what exactly it is that they want. And I'm going to give you a few examples and few stories of how I've done that myself personally and how that's the very representation of everything that I've built today and everything that I've created. And then I'm going to give you some practical advice towards the end so you can actually learn something and take away from it, take away something from this, right? And guys, look, this is the number one thing that I've noticed is the difference between people who don't make it and the people that do. And this same very thing is present in guys who are millionaires, multi-millionaires, guys with hundreds of millions of dollars, billionaires, right? Yes, I have met those people to that level of caliber, right? In Dubai, different places in, you know, in London, right? Where a lot of wealth is made and where a lot of wealth is happening, right? Where a lot of wealth is at. And the thing that I've noticed is that they will outwork and destroy their competition by any means necessary. They will, when the push comes to shove, they will, they will have the level of commitment that is required to get to their goals. They will outwork the, everybody around them, right? And this is a mindset that I have always had. And I really think that you can develop this from scratch if you do not have it already. Because again, the difference between my most successful clients and my people who don't get results is that they have the mindset that's required to win. They do the stuff, right? And to do the stuff, even though that you're given the stuff, you have to have your mindset right up here. And you have to have the work rate or the, the mindset that you're gonna work, outwork everybody else. When people see me post on Instagram about all the different lifestyle that I'm living now and how crazy it is, right? You look at this penthouse behind me and you think, wow, this is the way it's always been. For the past four months, well, what you didn't see is me sitting in my little studio apartment in Dubai, working my face off 12 to 14 hours a day, creating a new training program for students, collecting over 100 testimonials, new case studies, taking sales calls, onboarding calls, building new teams, right? Building, building new parts of the products of, of the things that we, the, the process we help our clients with RSA. That's what you didn't see. What you haven't seen is me working all day, every day for the past five years, right? From 18 to 23, I'm turning 24 later this year in November, if you didn't know, by the way. And I have 
put everything to the side. I've sacrificed everything to get where I am today. And I feel like so few little people realize that about me, but also that that is what is required to get the results that you're looking for, right? So few people actually have the discipline and the focus that is required to win. And I'll see this with beginners as well is they will blame other external circumstances outside of themselves as to why they don't have the results they're looking for. The number one thing that I see in my most successful clients is they want to outwork everybody, they want to be competitive, and they want to put in the work. I have never seen somebody who has put in the work in my training program and not crush it. I just haven't seen it. Like, I just haven't seen it. Give it one month, two months, three months, up to six months, and they will have everything that they could ever want. Right, Most people, that magical milestone of 10K a month is just behind that, the sheer hard work, dedication, focus, and commitment. But I think so few people lack that. Guys, look, when I first did my first coaching program, I said, I may not be the smartest guy in the world. I may not be a genius. I may not be academically brilliant, but I know what I do have. I have the thing that I can control. And the thing that I control is my work rate, my discipline, my focus, my commitment, the, the sacrifices that I make. These are the things that I can control and everything else I cannot. Right? I control what I put in the system, not what I get out. Every single sales team that I've been on, I knew that I was going to be the best. I knew that I was going to outwork everybody. And for years, all my days looked like was role play training, sales calls, training, right? digital training, right? consuming uh, digital training over and over and over again, listening to my sales calls. This is exactly what I have done for years to get to the point that I am now. Yet so few people realize that. So few people realize the actual dedication, focus, commitment, and sacrifices that is required to win. And this comes back to the same idea of locking in. This has come, come back to the same idea of getting focused, putting everything to the side, right? Being committed, being focused, cutting out the bullshit in your life that actually doesn't really matter and is not adding you to getting you to where you want to go. That could be relationships, that could be friendships, that could be family, that could be anything, right? Unique to you. But I know personally myself, I set aside everything. I set aside dating, I set aside uh, partying, right? The typical standard stuff that you would do from 18 to 23 years old, I did the opposite, right? If you want top 1% result, guys, you have to do what the 1% are willing to do. You have to do what the 99% are not willing to do. If you want top results, you have to act like a top tier person. You have to act like the person that you want to become. You cannot act like the person you are now. And I think a lot of discipline and focus and commitment and sacrifices and what you're willing to do to get to your, towards your goals is very based upon your why. And I know it's super cringy to say it or hear it and cliche about you need to know your why. You need, you need to know your why. You need to know what is your core motivation behind wanting to get towards this 10K a month milestone. I know a lot of beginners that is their, their major milestone. You know, they think that you know, making 10K a month is, is going to solve all life problems, which it will temporarily for a very short time. And then you realize life's a lot more than 10K a month, right? But back to my point. If you just have the goal of wanting to make 10K a month, and that is it, you will most likely fail to, get to, to reach it. There is most likely something, there is most likely a reason why you are pushing to do the things you want to do. If you want to make money online, you watch my YouTube channel, right? Um, you probably want to get in high ticket sales. You probably want to make money online. You've probably looked at a million different things you can do so. And maybe you're, you're leaning towards high ticket sales. If you want to do this, if you want to launch into this career, you got to understand why you want to do it period because that is what pushed me for years right and then i had to find different whys and you know, different reasoning behind why i wanted to do things otherwise you simply will not have the motivation the focus and the commitment to do the things required right most people put in minimal effort and expect maximum results right? <laughs> it's the other way around. You need to put in maximum effort and have the expectation of minimal results, right? You need to just put in the work regardless of whatever result that you're getting. 
when you're trying to make money online, you're going to have a ton of undesirable results. You're going to have a ton of times where you get results that are undesirable, not failures, but undesirable. You got to understand that success is built up of undesirable results. That's how you actually get what it is that you want. But back to the original point. Find out your why. Find out the reason why you want to do this. Find out the reason why you're pushing so hard. Find out the reason why, right? Maybe it's when you prove your friends wrong or maybe your parents wrong or that you want freedom and you want it so bad. You want it as bad as you want to breathe, right? Maybe it's that. You need to define what that is exactly for you because for me, I understood what was pushing me for years and I think that you should too. And again, understanding the expectation that what you want will most likely require a whole lot more work than you realize, a whole lot more effort and sacrifice, dedication, commitment and focus than you anticipate. It just will. It just will. Right? Some of my top students work 12 to 14 hours a day. Will it stay forever that way? No, of course not. Right? But that is what's required to be successful. That is what is required to win right so to tie that on a final note really 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 establish what are the distractions that are going on in your life and what is keeping you from getting to what it is that you want and the second thing is establishing your why as to why you want to make money online why you want to do all these things because that is the fire under your bum that is a fire under your ass that's actually going to push you to do the things you need to do that is required of you to get you the result that you're looking for right? You want to have the mindset that you're going to outwork everybody, that you're going to beat everybody from a work rate position. You are going to beat everybody by simply putting in more effort. And when you do that, you'll be successful and you can have anything and everything that you want. I truly do promise and guarantee you that, right? That I can guarantee you. If you put in the work in the right direction, right, with the right strategy, of course, you can have everything that you want and you can achieve your wildest dreams. Again, reminder, five years ago, I was working in retail. No idea what I wanted to do with life. Didn't want to go to university, didn't want to go to college, but here I am now, traveling the world, you know, hanging out with super successful people, way, way, way beyond my years, successful than myself, right? Not just in the, the make money online space, but people in the real world with real money, right? These types of things, right? All of that was only ever possible by the work that I've put in and the dedication that I've had, the focus I've had, the sacrifice that I've made to get to where I am today, to build the person I am, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you want, if you know that you can work hard, if you know that you're going to put in the effort, if you know that you're going to work your face off and you know what is required to win, of course, if you want to work with me inside the RSA, there's a link down below in the description to, to have a chat with me or the team to see if we can potentially help you make this transition into high ticket sales. But if not, and you're just watching the YouTube channel, hopefully you enjoyed today's video and you got some value from today's content. And um, yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video.